In this video, I'm gonna review for you the Bontrager new helmet. I have the Spectre, Spectre, and I'm comparing it to my old helmet, the Specialized Prevail. So now look, you can go to all the other uh, YouTube videos and find out the details about this helmet. I'm gonna give you my perspective. The first thing is, uh, let's talk about the bad things. This, this, uh, this buckle, I don't know why they reinvented the buckle. It's gonna take a little while to get used to, but like most things, I think it'll get kind of easy to get used to. The other concern was this thing, uh, the wave cell, how are you gonna fit your glasses in it? Let's try it out. So as you can see, the glasses fit just fine. There's actually space between this wave cell and the, the, the hole, the vent. So um, actually getting your, your glasses out of the helmet, putting them on and stuff, no big deal. No big deal. Uh, I'm gonna go out for a ride. It's about 80 degrees right now, so uh, let's see how this thing holds up in the heat, how it feels aerodynamically, and from a comfort level. So why did I get this helmet? Well, for one, I promised my wife that I would not die. So far, right out of the garage, you know what I notice? The, the weight, not really an issue. So this weekend, I'm gonna have to go for a long ride to find out the cumulative effect of the weight. And when you buy a new helmet, you also have to get new socks. Those look good. So it's got a BOA uh, thing in the back. Very comfortable so far. I don't feel any areas where it's pushing me in a weird way on my head. There's a jet overhead. We live near a military base, so gonna get kind of loud for a second. Okay, so I just discovered one more disadvantage of this helmet, and that is if you have an itch, you know how sometimes you just kind of put your finger through the vent holes and scratch? That ain't happening. Okay, I'm gonna do hill repeats. Uh, my Wahoo says 80 degrees right now, so it's hot enough. There's no shade here, as you can see, over my shoulder. And I'm gonna do a bunch of hill repeats and really try to sweat and see what this helmet feels like whether it cooks my brain or I have good ventilation. Well, that's a bummer. The trail is closed. So coming down a hill, felt really solid, good ventilation. So far I like it. Um, it it's hot as it's gonna get right now in April. And uh, so far it feels good on the helmet. One concern was this uh, buckle, the way it buckles from front to back rather than side to side. I thought, you know, if you curl your chin in, I've tried to unbuckle it just by, you know, uh, trying to hit my head or not hit my head. <laughs> That's stupid. Um, don't do that. Ill-advised. Um, just trying to push my helmet and trying to gut, uh, make myself have a double chin, trying to get myself to accidentally unlock that helmet because I was looking at the design going, eh, it should go side to side. Why reinvent the wheel? So far, I haven't had any problems. So my concern with that is, is kind of, nail another thing regarding this helmet in regards of i thought to myself this is just marketing bs a lot of people have said it's marketing bs the mips people are arguing that the wave cell isn't as good it's just as good as the as the um mips stuff and who knows who knows but you know what the helmet i had before uh it didn't have either so to me i feel like this is extra protection even if it turns out that it's marketing bs which i think it's not, and the reason why is because a company uh, that puts this out is gonna is gonna lawyer up. They're gonna know exactly what they're doing. They're not. Bontrager is gonna have the lawyers. They're gonna know what they're doing before they put any marketing BS out. They're gonna make sure they have some research to back it up. So whether a MIPS helmet is better or this Wave Cell is better, time will tell. But either way, the helmet I had before didn't have either. So. This is just that added knowledge of protection. So where do you put your glasses with this wave cell stuff? Well, right here. And watch this. Nothing. 
it actually helps it stick it to the glasses, which is actually, surprisingly, quite a cool feature. When I got back to my house, I put my old helmet on and I think there's more ventilation in this one. And I think that if you're looking for more ventilation, you'll have to maybe pick a helmet that has the MIPS and is more focused on lightweight and ventilation. It isn't a big difference, but I just wanted to kind of really test it and really know the answer. So yeah, I would say that the other helmet has less ventilation and I was going against the wind. So that's the only difference. So final thoughts, the difference between a Prevail, very lightweight, uh, no MIPS, no wave cell, great ventilation, that type of thing versus the new uh, Spectre and with the wave cell stuff. Um, heavier, not as well ventilated, although I felt like most of the time good ventilation, but when you compare it to the other, there's a slight difference. Um, this felt good, felt secure on my head and a lot of protection. So tell me what you think uh, about it down in the comments section down below.